Hello, this is Dale Snyder with the Snyder Group at Keller Williams Realty here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have uh, been specializing in short sales for about four years now. And the most common thing that has come up is, why should I short sale? I mean, I'll just let it go to foreclosure. I mean, that's what half the people I know have done. And in the beginning, people were more apt, say four years ago, just to let it go to foreclosure. But now I'm finding people are already sold on the value of the short sale because the consumers are getting more educated. So let's jump right in. The number one benefit, well, let me, let me back up, let me back up. Short sale versus foreclosure. One, we've got a team of attorneys and CPAs, so we can have you get a free consultation so they can explain it to you as well. And this isn't the attorneys, I'm not going to name any names, but this isn't the attorneys that are all over the city with billboards that have these short sale mills where you basically come in and they say, okay, we're going to do foreclosure and bankruptcy or we're just going to plug you right into our short sale program. I'm talking about attorneys that are going to take the time and advise you properly, not just try to make a buck off you. I think it's a critical and important thing to understand. And we do the same thing. You know, obviously we make money off short sale in your home, um, but first and foremost, we want you to do what's right for you. And sometimes foreclosure is a better option. So I just want to be crystal clear on that, but in most instances, it is not. So the first thing I want to discuss, you are in control. This is critically important. You're in control of your own destiny in a short sale. In a foreclosure, you're in limbo. You don't know what's going on. You don't know when they're going to foreclose. You don't know if they're going to come after you for the deficiency. You know, keep in mind, at the end of the year, that tax, um, the tax, George Bush tax abatement law expires. And the average foreclosure takes over a year. I have clients that have come to me, they've gone bankrupt, they were going to let the home foreclose, and three years later, the bank hasn't foreclosed on the property. So, they're still in this process, thinking that the foreclosure was the easier route. Well, in the short sale, you control the time, you negotiate for a free release of liability, which is critically important. I mean, I, I think most people want to sleep at night, you know? And if, and if you've got a second mortgage, third mortgage, they've got six years to pursue you. You know, so I think it's very important to, to really weigh that option in. You know, you control this situation in the short sale. And at the end of the day, at the end of the process, if the bank isn't willing to work with you, then let it foreclose. But at least you've taken control of the process. Number two, and I'm very passionate about this one, do the right thing. I mean, we're in Las Vegas. This is a, a bloodbath of foreclosures. And everybody's jumping on the bandwagon of, you know, F the banks. You know, it's, it's the lenders, it's the realtors, it's the government, it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. Well, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We're in the position we're in, and if you just choose to walk away, you're not being responsible. One, you're hurting yourself in many ways that you may or may not understand that we can get you consulted on by our CPAs and attorneys and our lender as well, talking about your, your ability to use your credit in the future. Two, it hurts your neighborhood. Three, it hurts our community. Four, it hurts our country. I mean, there's a reason why there's a push towards short sales. You know, Fannie Mae and Freddie, they own 60 to 70 percent of the mortgages and they're pushing towards short sales because it, it benefits everybody. So I would really take a moment to consider that, and I hope I didn't come across a little abrasive, but I'm very passionate about that. You know, and I know that you may be upset, and it's a very emotional, tough place to be. I mean, I get that. I've been doing this for years, and I really, truly empathize with that and understand. But I think you got to reel it back a little bit and just, you know, really do the right thing. You know, I, 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 enough said there. Number three, get informed. I think I've kind of covered that a little bit, but you really need to get informed. You go into the supermarket or wherever and everybody's an expert. You know, just like at the peak of the market when everybody was an expert on buying homes and making money, well, look where that got us. And I think we're seeing the, the opposite of it right now, where everybody's an expert. Just, well, just let it foreclose. You know, you just, you know, go bankrupt, let it foreclose. They can't come after you, but I think that's a very short-sighted thing. I think you need to get informed. And the way to get informed is by talking to a real estate professional that truly cares about the decision that you're making and an attorney that really cares about advising you properly, not just making a buck off funneling you through BK and foreclosure. And talking to a lender 
that cares, and talking to a CPA that understands. If you're not talking to those four people before you choose to go down either one of these roads, you are not getting informed and you're not doing your self-justice and your family. Education is power, so get informed. Number four, I just had to end with this one. But I just want this over and foreclosure is easier. Well, you know, it might seem like it's easier in the moment, but truly it isn't. I mean, we manage the entire short sale process for you. All you have to do is supply us some documents. Every now and again, send us in an updated checking statement. And that's all you do. It really is a very simple process. If you're working with a real estate professional that can pace you and know what's coming up before you even know. You know, I mean, we were able to guide you. So it's really not an easier way to go because the banks are not foreclosing because they're pushing for short sale. We have tons of clients that have spent two, three years that they haven't made a payment and the bank is still not foreclosed. So keep in mind, once it forecloses, that's when you begin your credit repair. If you do a short sale, it's over in the matter of months. So you can begin your life. You're closing that chapter and you're in control of it. So once again, this is Dale Snyder with the Snyder Group at Keller Williams Realty going over the short sale versus foreclosure options. I hope this is good information. Have a great day.